What's up guys, Clive here from Physio Fitness and this morning we're going to be learning how to do the perfect push-up. Push-ups are one of the most fundamental body weight exercises and are very popular. The movement is simple and can be done absolutely anywhere there's a flat surface. It's also highly efficient when done properly because you are using a lot of muscles at the same time. That's before you talk about all the special variations you can do for different muscles. Sounds good, right? The problem is that a lot of people concentrate on the quantity instead of the quality when doing push-ups. To avoid these mistakes, you must focus on these four points to make your push-ups perfect. We'll be starting with the body position. Now, the push-up isn't just a chest and tricep movement. Most people neglect the tension in the legs, hips, abs, and shoulders. Shoulders must remain protracted throughout the movement. There is often a lack of body tension seen when you arc your back. To avoid this, practice the full plank position and maintain the tension throughout the movement. The movement gets a lot harder with this, but it's so much more effective. The second point is the arm position. The arm position really doesn't matter in terms of perfect execution. A perfect push-up can be done with a wide grip or a narrow grip. What's important is the placement of your palms nearly perpendicular to your shoulders when you do standard push-ups. There are still exceptions for this rule as seen when you do planche pseudo push-ups which puts focus on your shoulders and the tricep push-ups which puts focus on your triceps. The wider grip focuses more on your chest while a narrower grip focuses more on your triceps. The only thing you should avoid completely is having your elbows flared out because this puts a lot of stress on your shoulders which leads to injuries. The third point we'll be looking at is the range of motion. This is quite simple, just don't cheat. Go all the way down and all the way up keeping your body straight. Do not decrease the range of motion by bringing your head down and forward or bringing your hips down. Now before heading on to the fourth point, let's look at how you can gradually train the previous three points using knee push-ups. The tension required isn't as much when you do push-ups on your knees, so it's easier keeping your body straight with palms perpendicular to your chest. To improve your range of motion, try something called arm release push-ups, also from your knees. Just go all the way down, remove your hands, place them back and push yourself back up. Training this variation will improve overall form and range. Now on to the final point. And finally, control your movement using eccentrics. Eccentrics are a form of training where you are working on just the lowering phase of the movement. You are actually stronger lowering into an exercise compared to pushing against gravity. This is perfect for beginners because you are able to put your chest closer towards the floor when you do eccentric training. In order to get the most out of eccentrics, and get the best results, they must be done with the right speed, slow and steady pace as you control the push-up. Do not let the push-up control you. Now are these easy? No. Do they work? Definitely yes. If you are someone who is struggling to get push-ups down, these are a great use of your time and effort. And if you know someone who wants to start bodyweight workout at home, send this video to them. Lastly, if you are not already, Ensure you subscribe to the channel so you never miss a new video. And let me know in the comment section what you thought about this tutorial and what else you want me to break down on the channel. So until next time, stay fit, stay healthy, mad love, peace.